Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistic gel test. Today we've got normal whitetail, their 150 grain load in 7mm Remington Magnum. And here's your box for that Norma Whitetail 150 grain 7 mag load. A little bit of a lightweight load for 7 mag. Eh, I guess it's kind of middle of the road. And here is all of your promo info for this Norma Whitetail ammo. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like. There's a lot of good information here. Coming on over, we've got our ballistics chart. Our muzzle velocity is stated at 3,018 feet per second at the muzzle we'll see how close we get to that right here they actually have an impact chart sort of what they expect or you know propose the bullet's going to look like at impact at impact at these various different distances we'll be testing it at 100 yards so we'll be looking for something about like that let's go ahead and open the stuff up oh, wrong way and take a look at it pulling it out Norma ammo comes in these. I like them actually. These pretty neat little ammo holders. The stuff stays in there. It's got a little tab that keeps them in there. You push down right here and then push up with your thumb and they come right out. And then they, listen, I don't know if you could hear it, but they kind of click back in and they're held in place. Also, you can crack this in half like that and have two little five rounders you can throw in your pocket or your pack. It's just a nice touch. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the ammo. This normal whitetail stuff across calibers just is usually extremely clean. The brass just looks so nice, and this is no exception. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Tika T3X laminate stainless, chambered in 7mm Remington Magnum, of course. It's got a 24.3 inch barrel. It did not come threaded. I had that done after the fact. Up top, we've got a Leopold VX Freedom Scope. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. This one, we've got seven mags stamped right in to let everybody know the lightning is about to strike. I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings here. Check out my website for these as well. If you're looking for a leather sling that will last a lifetime, you're going to want to check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my elk design. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that 150 grain normal whitetail load out of the 7 mag, minimum 2841, max 2861 for an average of 2849. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting those Norma Whitetail 150s out of the 7mm Remington Magnum. And we did capture all three bullets. Well, two of the bullets and then what's left of the third one. We caught the rest of it too, but it's just back here in the first block. So let's go ahead and look at penetration. So this bullet right here, we had jacket core separation. The core of this bullet is completely gone. This is just a jacket that is left. And we're going to give that one 16 and a half inches of penetration coming on back. This one is right at 20 and a half inches, and then this one went a little deeper at, eh, we'll give it 22 inches. These two held together very well and mushroomed very nicely, but the core just totally came out of that one. Of course, we'll look at that here in a second. And then coming on back to the first block, um, we've got some good wound cavity. It starts out a little slow, about the one and a half to two inch mark. It really starts to expand and then opens up a lot all the way out to 10 to 11 inches. And then it tapers off and continues penetrating on through. I mean, that absolutely do a number on a white-tailed deer, that's for sure. Now, what's interesting, well, not interesting really when you think about it too much, is the penetration. It's a 7 mag. You typically think, you know, maybe we'll get some more penetration, more power. There's definitely more power that doesn't necessarily equate to more penetration. Now, these are somewhat light bullets for a 7 millimeter Remington Magnum. You can get bullets up to 175 grains or so. And what we get here is just massive energy dump up front with that energy from the 7 mag. And then the bullets stop, you know, 
in the typical range for a lot of whitetail cartridges, and being that this is, you know, whitetail ammo, this isn't bad performance. This is actually pretty good, although I wish I would have seen um, the bullet hold together on that third one there. Regardless, let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look. All right, y'all, we shot it. Let's talk about it. Norma Whitetail 150 grain and 7 mag. Weight retention, let's jump into it. We saw 61 grains. 131 grains and 137 grains for an average of 110 grains retained weight. Now that is definitely skewed because that bullet on the left there, we had jacket core separation, complete jacket core separation. It is what it is and I'm gonna report exactly what happens. And honestly, I'm surprised the other two bullets held together as good as they did. I mean, these things are screaming out of a seven mag hitting with some real energy. It's not a you know particularly heavily constructed bullet. I'm actually surprised that we had as good a performance as we did out of the two that didn't have jacket core separation, but we did have one that did. And that works out to 73% weight retention on average. And onto expansion, we saw 0 0.64, 0 0.69, and 0.76 inches for an average of 0.7 inches expanded diameter. And that's 2.5X expansion. And notice the two bullets on the right, they had really nice, even uniform expansion and had the core remained intact with the other bullet, I think it probably would have too, but it didn't. On to velocity, our high velocity was 2861, our low was 2841 for an average of 2850 versus the box spec of 3018 feet per second. So these things came in 168 feet per second slow on average. I mean, that's pretty slow versus box spec. I've had other seven mag loads, the videos aren't out yet, that have come a lot closer even one that exceeded box spec by quite a bit. And our estimated velocity down there at 100 yards is 2,651 feet per second. Moving on to penetration, we saw 16 and a half, 20 and a half, and 22 inches for an average of about 19 and a half inches of penetration. So kissing that 20 inch mark that I like to see for medium game hunting, and considering this is a 150 grain soft point cup and core, nothing special bullet, screaming out of a seven mag, I'm pretty pleased actually with the penetration for what this bullet is and the cartridge it's being fired out of. Basically what I'm saying is I wouldn't expect much more out of this. And kinetic energy wise, with a 150 grain bullet going on average 2,850 feet per second, we're looking at 2,705 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 2,339 foot pounds down there at 100 yards, which is toward the lower end of the spectrum of what I've seen out of most seven mag hunting ammo. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right y'all, time for my final thoughts on this normal whitetail 150 grain load out of the seven mag. Honestly, I think we're kind of reaching the limits of what this bullet can do out of this cartridge. It's a, you know, it's not a heavily constructed bullet. It's a cup and core lead and copper bullet out of a seven millimeter Remington Magnum. So personally, I don't expect a whole ton out of it going into this test. And for what it is, I think it did pretty good. I'm honestly surprised the two bullets that held together completely held together as well as they did. Nevertheless, we did have one that had complete jacket core separation. Honestly, I'm not surprised. I mean, you put the stuff in the vitals of a white-tailed deer, it's, it's still going to do the job for you. I think at the end of the day, this ammo is exactly what it's meant to be, which is sort of a budget hunting option for the 7 Mag. It's nothing special. It's not a specialty load. It's not meant for, you know, long-range hunting, particularly large game. It's just a nice cheap hunting load for a cartridge where a lot of the ammo isn't very inexpensive. So if you've used this load on game, let me and everyone else know in the comments how you liked it and how it did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.